everyone and welcome to the crib where today we're taking a look at the premium dna banjo kazooie figure banjo kazooie is my favorite game of all time no questions about it for those uninformed banjo kazooie is a 1998 nintendo 64 video game why in my day we had to walk how many miles pop 15 miles damn i'm getting old uh basically banjo's the bear <laughs> kazooie is the bird look there's a bird dude it knows what's good i'm telling you i just heard it inside <laughs> they are friends <laughs> Basically, the story of the game, there's this evil witch, Gruntilda. She likes to rhyme. And she's mad because she's ugly. That woman number one is ugly. So she kidnaps Banjo's little sister, Tootie. And she's got, like, this machine that's going to take her beauty away. And, uh, uh, speaking of which, if you get a game over, yeah, she takes that beauty away. And Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, it goes without saying, Banjo Kazooie, like, you want, you can call it a collectathon all you want to, but damn it, I love this game. Some of the greatest music. Grant Kirkhope is the composer for the music in the game, and it just it changed my life. Like I know I'm blowing a lot of smoke up the ass of Banjo Kazooie, but damn it, it it changed my life, man. I know it definitely ain't gonna change the world, but it was my favorite game growing up and it still is today so i am so excited to get into this damn figure let's go look at the size of this freaking box man it is absolutely massive let's take a look at the slip cover all right we got banjo kazooie font right here it looks fantastic mumbo's hut i don't know man where's where's the feathers where's the chimney stack that's kind of weird banjo on the side the big golden jiggy and Kazooie on the other side. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie on top. And man. Good God, bro. They are massive. Holy crap. Oh, shit! We got the bear and bird on the side. Look at that. Backpack, banjo, jiggies, Kazooie's legs. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. They look fantastic, man. Just, just we gotta get them open. And here we have Banjo and Kazooie out of the packaging. Bro, they're freaking massive. <laughs> Absolutely huge. <laughs> they are not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some gripes, but damn. They're big. They are massive. They are absolutely huge. Very cool, will look sick as hell on a shelf. Bro, look at that necklace, the shark tooth necklace. I'm telling you, bro, this game just, it just, it hits different. But it's time, but you know, we gotta take off them rose tinted glasses, cause you know, this figure ain't perfect. Watch your you shut up, also. I got it! But before we get into that, let's take a look at Banjo and Kazooie's accessories. Where's the giant, Mansley? What? And here we have Banjo and Kazooie's accessories. I think it's a pretty damn good lot. Let's get into it. Uh, let's start off with that shark tooth necklace. Um, the peg hole is really small, so you got a lot of play with this necklace. No biggie. You can adjust it easily. We have the smiley Banjo head sculpt. Bro, it's massive. Look at that schnoz on that man. Love the detail in the eyes. The pompadour going on. His cute little bear ears. It's my boy. Might be a little goofy looking. You're goofy looking. <laughs> At some angles. We got the toothless banjo grin. I think I think this is the one I like. Whiskers, eyes, schnoz, pompadour, ears. This is definitely, this This is my head scope. I like this one. Grabby hands. 
I like the attention, the fleshy attention to detail. The black nails, I think they look great. Love the bear claws. <laughs> Two open hands. Oh, they're fat, bro. Look at that. Let's compare it to the size of my head. Andre. Yeah, bro, they're pretty sick. I guess you could call them the mauling hands. What? what whatever. Just two open hands. Love the nail details. Kazooie's ass and her feet. Um, got a ball joint at each leg. No swivel. No nothing. This is this is it. Those two ball joints. That is it. Maybe a minor gripe. I don't know. It's not that big a deal. I mean, she's always gonna be in the backpack anyway. Kazooie's kazoo. I'll grab my kazoo. I'm really feeling it. Poke it into her mouth. Bad dog! I mean, doesn't look like a kazoo, but it's the way it looks in the game, and that's all that matters. Kazoo. Banjo's banjo. Uh, four strings. Son of a bitch. Four strings. Not that much detail. Necks, uh, pretty thick. I mean, there you go, bro. That's what I'm talking about. suck at this I worry about warping the neck so good god try to be careful with it oh um, shit I mean it's just like the game model I have a five string banjo as y'all saw in the intro it serves its purpose banjo's banjo the jiggy uh. the jigsaw puzzle piece uh. the end all be all of banjo kazooie collectibles I love that this is a freaking accessory. You can't get him in the, you know, you know, a pose for when he gets a jiggy. You know, the, the little thing that he does when he gets a jiggy? You know, you're not, you're not getting this figure into that pose. But that's okay. This is a great accessory. I'm glad they included it. Got this sick gold metallic finish. Um, if you're thinking about getting him to hold this. There you go. The backpack. Pretty sick. Um, comes apart here so you can wrap it around his shoulders if you want banjo without a backpack that's fine you go right ahead and do that if you want banjo on his own no kazooie just slap the lid on it banjo's backpack pretty sick gives off the banjo tooie vibes in case you didn't know banjo and kazooie can separate in banjo tooie <laughs> Love the sculpt, love the color. I'm very familiar with this backpack and I think it is the perfect color and the perfect sculpt. So now that we got Banjo and Kazooie's accessories out of the way, let's take a look at Kazooie herself and then we will get into Banjo himself. If he was to ever touch me, I'd try my best to kill him. And here we have Kazooie on her own. Tech. Bro, she's massive. Look at that wingspan. That is awesome. Love that. That's your lot right there. That is it. Waist swivel. Wings, which is very sick. Like that. And feet. Very hurt legs. Very hindered. I mean, like I said before, I'm not going to have her posing. That's just not what I'm about, bro. You want to pose her out of the backpack, that's, that's your business. But I'm not going to have her outside of that backpack. But still, she's pretty sick. Yeah, close that gap. Got the orange red going on. Eyes are great. Head sculpt's great. Yeah, I think she looks great. I'm gonna stuff that kazoo in. She's got a hole there in the back of her mouth. There you go. Kazoo! And here we have Banjo all by himself. I think he looks fantastic. Oh man, that's my boy. Damn it. All right, so this is the meat and potatoes of the figure. We're, we're really limited on this articulation. I don't know, man. It just... Damn it, it's not... It, it ain't no damn SH figure art. That's for sure. Damn good ab crunch. Woo, shit. Pretty good. You might be able to get some good poses out of there. there you go. Ah! I don't know. Definitely don't shoot for the, don't shoot for the moon when posing this figure, but still really cool. Yellow shorts, blue backpack. He ain't no SH figure arts, but I think he's pretty sick. I've been drinking. Let's get Kazooie back in her backpack and let's take it on home. I'd blow a motherfucker away in a heartbeat. And here we have Banjo and Kazooie together again. Despite 
the limited articulation, I think this is a fantastic figure. Not perfect. I mean, I'm just saying if I could tell a 10-year-old Taylor that, hey, we got this big-ass banjo figure, you want it? He would say, yes. Where's your fucking wallet? Yes, I would like to have that. Please give it to me, please. Where's your fucking wallet? I forgot to do a comparison. So here is the Nendoroid Kirby figure up next to the Platinum DNA Banjo and Kazooie. As I said, uh, Banjo and Kazooie are massive. Do I think you should buy the Platinum DNA Banjo and Kazooie? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're into retro video games and shit like that. If you love Banjo and Kazooie, like I love Banjo and Kazooie, yes, you've gotta have this. <laughs> but if you're not a fan of Banjo and Kazooie, uh, nah. You don't need it. But as for me personally, I love the figure. I'm glad I have it. It was awesome taking a trip down Retro Lane. I think it's very sick. You shut up! Awesome. I got it! I love y'all. Let's get the hell out of here. Next time, it's a nightmare before Christmas.